Hi and welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about collection binding and updating the database. I have a collection of book categories and I'm showing all of them together. I can always have a form uh, and update each category one by one but I want to show all of them together in one page just like something like a spreadsheet and edit any one of them and click on the save and get uh, done with it so how we can achieve that I'm showing all the data here just uh, for your information but I don't need to show the IDs of each category so let's go to my view and add a hidden here also pay attention to how I am showing the data in my background code I am loading data from the database from DB context as a list and carrying the book category to the view um, using a property and it's a bind property so later I'm expecting to bind this data from uh, this form then there's a post and let's check the book category it's a very a small class with an ID and a name it doesn't matter it's a commented let's move this line so we have this book category and I am loading it to my view and here I want to update the database and um, change all the categories at the same time so obviously we need to use db and save change it's better to use async uh, but we keep everything simple let's avoid that for now and this is how i am loading the data in my form i am using the index using for i loop and this is necessary because I want to bind to a collection so in this case ASP-4 won't work you need to uh, customize your input like this uh, and collection binding can find the indexes with the name categories here this is the same name uh, as my property and the casing doesn't matter so I can have categories with the capital C and a lowercase c and that doesn't matter but you have to have indexes for ASP core model binding to happen over this collection and let's see how exactly binding happens in the background let's see what we have when user submits the form so, so let's change this to 77 and click save and we are here my categories are binded and if I check the last one it is database 77 the same as I have in my form so the binding happened it was successful but I'm not saving the data to the service uh, at least with any change so nothing happened in the database and I'm still seeing the old data here so how we can update this let's go back to my Visual Studio and here I can use DB and categories and call update range and have my categories updated just like this let's make sure that we are applying the code changes and if everything works correctly I can update this again 
and this time it worked and now we have our big database and this is the query that ran inside my SQL Server database and as you can see all of the fields here were updated one two three four fields for rows in my database were updated even though i just changed one of them and it can be a big issue or it, it may not matter at all because it depends on how much data you're updating how many rows and uh, how many times this happens if it happens rarely which in this case it, it, do, it, it doesn't happen every day uh, so i don't need to check for changes or make anything to improve the performance but if we ever want to be more specific about which row we are going to update then I need to make some changes let's go back let's uh, change the code remove the update range or I can, I can comment it for now and let's go for a for each loop and use category inside categories here and for each data entry let's use entry and have category inside and use a state to change the state of each category and signal the entity framework that this category has been modified and then let's save the changes i can get rid of this line altogether and hopefully if everything applies correctly we'll be able to see the change immediately i can refresh the page let's change this one and update the same thing happens all four rows gets updated but at the same time we are using a different code here we are um, being more specific about what happens in the background this is exactly what update range did before it uses a for each loop like this and uh, modifies each entry in the background but with update range you get only the modified version but in this type in this uh, usage i am I can be specific about what happens exactly with each row and it can be different for each data entry uh, but we don't have anything different than update changes so this is all good but uh, what if we want to update the only rows that has changes Entity Framework can't help you much because Entity Framework tracking won't work in a disconnected way. Uh, in this request response, you are loading the data in the client browser and here you are receiving it from the browser. So for each request response, we have a different scope and for each request response, we have a different instance of Entity Framework. So Entity Framework can't remember or can track which entries has changed and if you want to uh, change the code to be more specific about what gets updated and what it does not uh, we can use a view model so let's add a view model i have a category view model with id name and original name i guess you know already what i'm going to do I am going to send this view model to my view instead of using the book category itself and also I need to select and make sure that um, ID um, new 
let's add a new category view model here and the id would be the same as c.id and name c.name i can use a mapper like auto mapper or mapster but for now it just, just suffice to go with this one pay attention that to these two lines i am um, setting the name and original name to the same value because this is what we send to the client and later we can check if the original name has changed or is it's a different value than the name and then we can update them in my view i can add another input and this input is original name and this is also original name but uh, this record cannot help me with this i have to write it on my own because it's a name not an is before and that's it and let's also make check if we have everything here category original name is not category of name and something has changed so then we add the modified here and we also need to use a book category object because it must be a database entry and not a view model so let's have a book category and the id is category.id again i can use auto mapper or mapster or any other mapping tool that you now know but for now for the simplicity i can go with my own custom code so that's it and let's run the project again you see the name and then the original name are the same but i can change any value here and it detects the change and only updates those data routes so uh, this is um, updating correctly and let's check the logs here as you can see we only have one set one update comment and for only one value i can keep doing this mm, this is and uh, not that i want to change things or maybe smooth that and so it works again i, I can change two values and clean up everything and save this time we have two updates um, oh yes i didn't have to change the other value save okay we have two updates here and it works uh, so you don't need to show the original name i can go back to my code and add a hidden here and now my client doesn't know what is happening it doesn't nothing changed for the client but for us in back end we are updating the database in a more performant way so that's all for today thanks for watching and see you soon and remember you can always do this with react vue.js angular blazor and using a web service a web api in the background but if you want to achieve something like this using razor pages and only writing c sharp code this is almost the way to go thanks for watching and see you soon